ओके जी पेपर टू ए एस लेवल अक्टूबर नवंबर 2015 पेपर टू वेरिएंट वन एंड द क्वेश्चन नंबर इज थ्री दिस क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट द प्रोजेक्टाइल मोशन अलोंग विद द क्वेश्चन ऑफ रिलेटेड टू डायनामिक्स एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज मूव फ्रॉम पॉइंट बी टू पॉइंट आर आइडर बाय आई डायरेक्ट पाथ और बाय द पी टू क्यू टू आर एस शो P and Q are the same horizontal level, and R is the vertical above Q. Explain whether the work done moving the object against the gravitational field is the same or different along paths P R and P Q R. So first of all, when the work done uh, from P to Q is zero, why? Because the gravitational force and the displacement are in perpendicular not in the same direction so the no work done for p to q because f and d are not in the same direction then comes to q and r q and r is actually in the same direction force and displacement gravitational force and displacement so work is there so if i calculate it from p to q no work q to r there is a work now moving from p to q and it is uh, an angle with the horizontal so that means uh, the force either the force and the displacement display, uh, displacement will have uh, broken into its component so again horizontal component will no work and the vertical component will have some work so q to r uh, because and uh, and now the work done from p to q uh, is zero f and add f, f and d are not in the same direction q to r has work done because f and d are in the same direction and it is same as the horizontal component of p to r so that is the answer now uh, b part ab all around With the initial velocity v at an angle theta to the horizontal as shown, v uh, this is the trajectory ball and uh, and v is the horizontal velocity. The variation with time t and height is ball is shown in this figure. So from this figure you you find out the maximum height which is 10.9 and the time which is ha uh, and you know the maximum time. Is actually the time to reach the maximum height is exactly half of the maximum time, which is 1.5 seconds. Now use the time to reach the maximum height to determine the vertical component of the velocity of the ball from t equals zero. So what we suppose it suppose at maximum height, right? Vertical component of the velocity is now zero, right? And initially there is an horizontal. Com uh, vertical component of the velocity so vy final velocity is 0 meter per second and uy is we are going to find out g is 9.8 meter per second and time is 1.5 second now you have two formula to deal with like uh, equation second equation with equation of motion like h is equals to ut plus half at square or final velocity is equals to initial velocity plus gt so i am going i am i have used a uh, first equation of motion which is uh, v equals u my uh, plus at so vy is uh, is uh, initial final velocity is zero vy minus you know for the acceleration for the projectile motion is always negative so it is minus 9.8 into time is to reach the maximum height is 1.5 second so from this we will have 14.7 which is uh according to the given condition it is up to the two significant so we use 15 meter per second now second part the horizontal displacement of the ball at t is 3 seconds to 25.5 meter so this is a graph you need to plot and you know the horizontal axis uh, the horizontal component of the velocity is always constant throughout the journey so the distance and time graph you will have a straight line from 0 to With uh, 25.5, which is approximately, uh, you can uh, by the calculation you calculate it is 8.5 meter per second. Now, the part number three for the ball at maximum height, calculate the ratio. 
potential energy of the ball is mg h kinetic energy of the ball is half mg square so you will get 2h over v square so 2 into 9.8 and maximum height you already find out is 10.9 into 8.5 now <coughs> the part number four in practice air resistance is not available state and explain what the effect of air resistance on the time taken for the ball to reach the maximum height this is the most important uh, this is the most important word because the result is give you a concept and you will have to remember it. Uh, whenever there is an air resistance and we agree that uh, the, the ball is moving upward, right? So, if the ball is moving upward, that means weight is moving downward and the friction force is al always against the motion. It is also downward, right? And the only force is available is a thrust, which is air upward. So, as, uh, as the friction force is now moving downward, so the downward force is greater. So, this will make what? This will make the height shorter. The maximum height will be shorter than the previous one because of the friction force that opposes the motion along with the weight. So, the time taken will be less. So, the, for the maximum height, which is actually... Uh, 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 already uh, shorter than the previous one so the time taken will be the shorter to reach that that maximum height right so the time taken will be lesser than the previous one